Lenovo Legion has some new gaming laptops with a number of world's firsts. We've got them both here today. Thank you to Lenovo for partnership on this video. Pretty interesting, pretty good value as well. We have the Legion 7 as well as the Legion Slim 7. They're both the 16 inch laptops, except obviously as the name implies, one of them even more slim. The way they're pitching this on the slim model is that it's gonna be a little bit more incognito, a little bit more stealth. The Legion 7 is going to be the performance offer of the two, though both of them are going to be more than capable for whatever games you want to throw at them. They claim that the Slim 7 is the world's most mobile 16-inch gaming laptop. I believe it's coming in just over four pounds, which is actually pretty amazing for a 16-inch gaming laptop. The Legion 7 is the world's most powerful 16-inch gaming laptop, so that's too pretty decent options. Now, some of this slim appearance comes via the design work. Of course, you've also got RGB in there, lighting and speaker sync, as well as RGB on the keyboard. They call their RGB configurator Spectrum, which is gonna allow the RGB to respond to in-game effects, video effects, audio effects, also content sync. So whatever you're watching on the screen will then be reflected back in the RGB that's popping up on the keyboard. Another thing they're referencing here, one finger lift ridge and a USB protection notch. If you have a laptop which is very lightweight and you go to reach to lift the lid, you've actually got to hold it planted because the amount of friction will lift the entire laptop up and create like a kind of slap effect when it lands back down on the table. This is the type of attention you like to see. It's just sitting there, one finger, lift up the lid. You can get Intel 12th gen CPUs or AMD 6000 Ryzen series. You've also got RTX graphics built in, up to NVIDIA RTX 3080. You've got DDR5 memory, Wi-Fi 6E, and of course M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD storage. Now the other claim here on total graphical power you can see on this particular chart, they've got a boosted TGP. So you can see the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti inside the Legion compared to some other implementations in the industry. 67% thinner fan blades for improved airflow, a vapor chamber for CPU plus GPU, phase change thermal compound, and 175 watt GPU power. They also claim they've got industry leading battery capacity at 99.99 watt hour. That number is significant because that's the maximum allowed for many flights. So they've taken that into consideration and jammed the biggest one they could into this particular lineup. You've also got an integrated fingerprint scanner above the keyboard, deeper key travel on the 2022 Legion 7 from 1.3 millimeters up to 1.5. You've also got a 0.1 millimeter curve. For me, the most satisfying keyboard experiences on laptops do tend to have a little bit of key travel, particularly for gaming where you don't want those unintentional key presses. Ooh, and look at this. You have what they're calling a force sensor, velocity sensitivity across common gaming keys. You can apply more force to accelerate more. The difference between a light or a heavy attack, often in music production, you would have that on external controllers or keyboards, musical keyboards. Kind of nice to see that here. Now let's talk a little bit about the display that's gonna be on these devices. 16 inch WQXGA, so that's 2560 by 1600. World's most powerful 16 inch gaming laptop. The world's first 16 inch gaming laptop with an FHD webcam. That's kind of an interesting world's first. The world's largest battery on a 16 inch gaming laptop. And the world's first 16 inch WQXGA gaming laptop. I guess this comes into the distinction around what is a gaming laptop. This definitely is one. And I guess this spec sheet is pretty unique at the moment. Okay, let's move over to the slim model, modern and minimal, onyx gray or storm gray. This is Legion's thinnest and lightest offering. Also 99.99 watt hour battery. You have IO on the rear of the device. Now the cables can go to the back side of the desk instead of all over the desk. The display here got a way slimmer bezel from 86% display coverage to 93.1. We've got Legion Spectrum here for RGB as well. Soft landing switches, so a little bit less key travel than the regular Legion model. Of course, that's what you'd expect on an even slimmer model. So the slim model obviously targeted at portability, enhanced portability on a gaming laptop, coming in just over four pounds, 4.4 pounds or two kilograms, and very slim at 16 millimeters. Now the slim model is gonna go up to RTX 3070, the non-slim model, 
model, obviously 3080 Ti. The display, WQXGA, 165 hertz all the way up to 240 hertz. So the other display option on the slim model is of course the mini LED. And if you're curious about the refresh on that, that's gonna be locked at 165 hertz. So you actually get three screen options. There's the WQXGA that is 165, then there's the variable one up to 240, and then there's the mini LED option at 165 as well. If you opt for the Legion 7, then you go up to 2.3 kilograms, still relatively slim at 19 millimeters. Now you're gonna be able to go up to the 3080 Ti GPU. Display options here are the same. You're either gonna get a WQXGA 165 hertz, you're gonna be able to get the same resolution 165 up to 240 hertz. First, we have the 7, and as you can see here, we have this unique hinge design up along the top. It also looks like there's some uh, LED indicators on the backside, an ethernet jack, as well as a type C connector, full size HDMI, two USB A ports, and this is gonna be your power connection point. Over on this side of the device, we have two more USB type C ports, and then one more over here, as well as what looks like a dedicated switch for privacy. And then of course, there's an analog audio jack in order to insert your headset. You can see the Legion section here actually glowing at the moment. So this is probably gonna be RGB backlit. This is the lift up portion, this little lip on the front, one finger, they weren't lying, it is a one finger lift. We have RGB coming onto the desk around the device and certainly on the front edge, but also all the way around. What's nice here, I kind of like this color that they've gone with, this uh, dark metal color in conjunction with the RGB keyboard. Very large direction buttons. They actually moved it down here because often you'll have this offset trackpad, which is also fairly uh, large size. This is in glass. But since it's offset anyways, why not come down here with the direction buttons so you can get a little bit more space without having to shrink the key sizes to fit them into this uh, section here where they would normally go. This is kind of a cool move. I just noticed as well, a 16 inch laptop, they've been able to fit in an entire uh, number pad as well. That's gonna be your fingerprint scanner. And this is an incredibly slim bezel right up here. Typically you would have the entirety of the bezel have to accommodate your front webcam. They've gone for this compromise where this section at the top houses your front webcam, allowing them to fit in that FHD resolution. The microphones are also packed up there, but then you get a really aggressive screen to body ratio everywhere else. And what's good about this is it means you get a smaller form factor all around. I also just noticed this hinge opens all the way flat. Hinge also feels fairly robust and solid. Well, the whole thing feels solid. Here you can see those uh, port indicators lit up, which is kind of nice. You can see from here. So even if you're reaching from the back, you don't need to go around to the other side of the table to know where to plug it in or what you're unplugging. Just reach up, pull the HDMI out, for example, because you can see that it says HDMI in that location there. So this WQXGA display is pretty high resolution for a 16 inch screen, particularly a gaming display, which is targeted at high refresh rates up to 240 Hertz. Uh, it's a matte finish that they've put on it here. It's just gonna be less glare than if you had some sort of uh, glossy finish on there. Okay, let's take a look at the slim model. So I definitely notice a difference immediately. Port options on the back. This one's gonna have HDMI, three USB-A ports, and then also your power connection point. Over on this side, we're getting an SD card slot here, as well as that dedicated switch for uh, turning off the webcam and an analog audio jack for your headset. We have a Thunderbolt 4 connector, as well as another USB type C over on the other side, the Legion logo not rgb on the slim model still a one finger lift still a, a very nice screen to body ratio over here with that jut out in order to house your fhd webcam fingerprint scanner in this location still have the bump down on the d-pad and a very similar if not identical scale on the glass trackpad all right so um yeah overwatch here we go, Try soldier. See what I can do here. I just want to kill more people than kill me. Okay, good start. There's so much just like preemptive shooting going on. The Q 
keyboard is really responsive. The display is immersive, really nice screen to body ratio as I suggested previously. I think you're gonna feel right at home. Good Lord. This light around the edge glows onto the table. Ooh, check how moody that is. Look at that. I mean, what type of gaming setup can you fit in your bag? Like, this kind of gives you the ambience of having a much larger setup just because of this RGB effect. Of course, we've seen RGB on keyboards for a while now, but corresponding onto the table really feels like a more enhanced version of it. Oh, that's a big boy. There's actually two different ways you can configure either of these laptops. You can go with an AMD setup like I have on this Legion 7. The slim model actually has a Intel slash Nvidia setup. So it's really the best of both. It's whichever configuration is more suitable to you. And there's different specifications even within each configuration. Now, either of these configs is gonna be capable no matter what you throw at it. It's gonna play any of the modern games that you wanna play. It's gonna do sort of frame rate that you should be satisfied with. As far as the speakers are concerned, they sounded good via gaming, but I'm gonna go ahead and just launch up some multimedia here to just see what that's like if I'm watching a little bit of YouTube. How you doing, Will? Good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a very, there was a stressful, uh, set of things that happened yesterday when we got you in a car topic. Yeah, all right, audio sounds good. Look, these are very clean, solid laptops. They've really made some serious improvements in gaming laptops, making them a lot more equivalent to some of the stuff that I like. Like you look at this laptop over here, you could be in the boardroom or you could be in the coffee shop and it's just kind of understated. Then you turn on the RGB and you have the party time as well, so. Good. We'll take it. We're taking that. Make sure you got that, Mo. Make sure you got that part. <laughs> the fact that I can jump into a game, like everything is just good to go. Like very little config necessary and just like seamless and mobile. Like I could just throw this in the car, in the backpack, go home, set up my mouse, and that's it. Really doesn't leave me wanting to have some kind of more elaborate setup. One of the areas where you normally might nitpick is on the keyboard, but I think they've done a pretty good keyboard. A pretty significant amount of key travel for something so slim. Every time I do one of these gaming laptops, it reignites, and then I'm like, oh yeah, man, that's fun. Objectives and such, and payloads and so forth, and Overwatch, plus Overwatch 2 is coming out. So now I'm like getting primed and making improvements, so you better watch out. I'm coming for your favorite gamer. No, I don't, Kirk, don't put that. <laughs> and especially, and especially since I said Kirk, don't put that, now he puts it. Thank you to Lenovo for sponsoring this video, sending over the new Legion 7 and Legion Slim 7. No matter which configuration you choose to go with, I think it's gonna handle your gaming needs just fine.